Oh, hello there. Uh, this is Jay Gun Jen here again. Um, and this is the uh, saber I mentioned in the last video I uploaded. This is uh, Brass Saber 21. I uh, finished it uh, last night. And it looks like it uh, came out half decent. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, this one was constructed using uh, all MHS parts from a uh, custom saber shop. Uh, as usual, we have uh, I think this is blade holder uh, uh, 17, no 19, something like that. Uh, the uh, short uh, style one choke uh, under here, there is a, uh, a two inch extension and the uh, the double threaded mail adapter, and this is the uh, the threaded uh, MHS grip section, and then we have back here we have the uh, pommel style eight. Um, nice polished brass screws here. And I modified a uh, brass uh, cover tech button to fit. And do a grind and sand off the, uh, the dish section of it so that uh, this goes on. Kind of like in a, uh, on a mace window. FX Saber. Um, with the dish section on there, it was uh, too tight of a fit between this screw and this screw here. So I ground it off and then uh, used a simple lock washer underneath it to help give it a little bit of a standoff. So that will fit and hang from the belt just fine now. And you'll, you'll notice here we have uh, a purple crystal in the, uh, in the pommel here. And that uh, that was done using two of the MHS uh, MPSI inserts. I think that's the style five or six or something, like style three, something like that. I don't know. Uh, some 440 screws and some nylon uh, spacers and uh, another one on the inside. Hole drilled uh, out in the center just big enough for the uh, LED to shine into. This one uses a uh, Master Replicas uh, Jedi type soundboard and four AAA batteries. We have the uh, illuminated uh, AV switch with the brass uh, bezel there. That's a purple. Uh, Camera's making the pommel look uh, blue, but uh, it's, it's it's a nice light shade of purple actually. Sounds like typical Jedi sounds, and uh, I drilled the uh, choke here for extra vent, so you can feel that uh, sound effects against your hand. A little vibration. And the uh, the feel the force thing again. To me, it just kind of makes the uh, the lightsaber seem a little more realistic and a little more uh, a little more alive, I guess, so to speak. Uh, the uh, the blade I made up for this one here is a uh, TCSS uh, translucent white thin wall. Lights up pretty well. I put a uh, bullet style plate tip on this. Uh, Tighten this up a little bit. Helps to put the blade in all the way. Nice and even. And blade tip. Even with the uh, crystal and the pommel there, it's still still pretty loud. It doesn't block the uh, sound effects at all. Uh, 
Now this uh, this was going to be uh, posted for sale on the FX Sabres forums, but I uh, already had somebody uh, jump on before I even did that. Uh, the moderator there, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, decided that he really likes this one and uh, wants to buy it. So all I do really is just total it up and let him know how much it is. And it is so. Sorry about that. It's already already sold. Um, There it is. Uh, that's uh, Brass Saber 21. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do do next. I think I have another Chrome one coming uh, from TCSS here to be Chrome Saber 30. Uh, hopefully that one will have a uh, a new a new soundboard in it uh, when I finish that one. That's going to be a while before I can get that one to, that one done though. Lots of overtime at work at the real job. There is, uh, again, there is, uh, that's Brass Saber 21, and uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.